Hello Capricorn, I am Poetic Heretic and this is your July 2021 astrology forecast where we examine the most significant astrological developments of the month and interpret them for your sign. As always, these videos will be most accurate for your rising sign, but you may also use them for your sun and or moon sign if you so desire. All dates and times in this video are Eastern Daylight Time, adjust your time zone accordingly. July wastes no time introducing us to its dynamic developments when on the first of the month we have a powerful Mars-Saturn opposition. This manifests as an event involving action, motivation, anger, or desire, as well as authority, obstacles, limitation, or reality, where someone or something challenges you in the area of your partner's money, business, or issues of life and death, and or your money, values, or resources, forcing you to make a decision that ends up affecting your home, family, or living situation, your friends or social group, you personally, and or your money, values, or resources. Generally, a Mars-Saturn opposition is one of the most challenging aspects we ever have to deal with, where there is tension either between two opposing parties or two different areas of life. One of these, represented by Mars, wants to push forward, while the other, represented by Saturn, wants to put on the brakes. We should not assume this spells total disaster, for while the event itself may be very stressful or difficult, it often results in necessary changes. There are, however, a couple curious details to this Mars-Saturn opposition that makes it unique. First of all, Venus is with Mars, applying to an opposition with Saturn also. More on this in a minute. Second of all, notice the Moon is in soft aspect to both Venus and Mars, as well as Saturn. The orb for the sextile to Saturn from the Moon is too wide to show in the chart on screen, but it is still very much there. The meaning, at least to me, couldn't be more obvious. During this time of tension between Mars and Saturn, there appears to be a third party who enters into some kind of negotiation or mediation between those represented by Mars and Saturn. This quote-unquote outside force represented here by the Moon will likely try to help both sides find reconciliation. Now let us look at the chart for when Venus is perfectly opposite Saturn. Again, though the Moon has changed signs, it is still in soft aspect to both Venus and Saturn, as well as Mars, at this time. This is further indication of the idea of a third party trying to help resolve things between the two opposing forces in some way. Additionally, the fact that it is both Venus and Mars, the cosmic lovers opposing Saturn, suggests that for many during the first week or so of July, there could be anything from a romantic relationship to a creative endeavor that is somehow disapproved of by authority or that encounters obstacles, limitations, or some other difficult reality. It is much like the classic story of two people wanting to be together in love, but someone or something won't let them, though it will of course not manifest this way for everyone. The technical delineation of Venus opposite Saturn is an event involving love, pleasure, creativity, or relating to others, as well as authority, obstacles, limitation, or reality, where someone or something challenges you in the area of your partner's money, business, or issues of life and death, and or your money, values, or resources, forcing you to make a decision that ends up affecting your creative self-expression, your career or public image, you personally, and or your money, values, or resources. Generally, a Venus-Saturn opposition, in addition to what we have already gone over, represents a situation where getting what we desire is limited in some way. We want it, but we can't have it, or we have to go to great lengths to get it. This aspect is also what we often see when there are challenges or tension in relationships. Though this aspect perfects on July 6th, as I mentioned before with the involvement of the Moon and Mars, the whole first week or so of July will contain this combined Mars opposite Saturn and Venus opposite Saturn energy. On July 9th at 9.16pm, we have the new moon in Cancer. The new moon represents the beginning of a new month-long cycle, and with this new moon taking place in your 7th house of relationships, you can expect new beginnings in the area of your major relationships. And remember, this includes any relationship that is major from friends to romance to business to even enemies. Interestingly enough, this new moon is not really aspecting anything except for technically being trying Jupiter by sign. It is an aversion to everything else. This gives us a much more pure Cancer new moon. This is a new moon that is all about nurturing something in safety so that it may grow. Done well, that which is nurtured and protected will grow very strong and powerful. 
Therefore, I see this new moon as a time of much needed peace and replenishment after the stress and challenges of the previous days. On July 13th at 9.32 a.m., we have Venus perfectly conjunct Mars. The cosmic lovers seem to be stealing the show somewhat this month. This manifests as a fusion of energy involving love, pleasure, creativity, or relating to others, as well as action, motivation, anger, or desire. In the area of your partner's money, business, or issues of life and death that ends up affecting your creative self-expression, your career or public image, your home, family, or living situation, and or your friends or social group. Generally, a Venus-Mars conjunction has to do with intensely creative energy. As the implication goes with these two planets, it may have to do with a romantic relationship, though it just as easily can be the creation of something else entirely. Whatever it is, this is fun, playful energy that is so often, again, intensely creative. On July 23rd at 10.37 p.m., we have the full moon in Aquarius. The full moon is the point in the current lunar cycle where the energy peaks, a time of heightened activity. With this full moon occurring in your second house of resources, you can expect things to come to a head in the area of your money, values, material possessions, finances, or resources. The full moon in Aquarius represents a time of intellectual detachment and future-oriented thinking. It excites our minds for the future, for new and innovative possibilities. It also plays upon the dynamic between the love for and connection with all of humanity and the more personal, heartfelt love of an individual for another individual. This full moon in Aquarius is co-present with Saturn, indicating this may be a time that, despite our excitement for the future, we must contend with a difficult reality. Additionally, Venus has just opposed Jupiter the previous day, indicating that this is also a time where our wants or desires may conflict with our worldview, knowledge, or beliefs. The final event of July we will look at is on July 28th at 8.43 a.m. when Jupiter retrogrades back into Aquarius, where it will remain until late December of this year. This means that any good fortune that Jupiter brought over the past one or two months to your communication, short distance travel, or what is familiar to you may diminish somewhat while Jupiter returns to your second house to finish unfinished business in the area of your money, values, or resources. This represents a continuation and or return to a theme explored in this area of your life from about mid-December of 2020 to mid-May of 2021. The stretch of time that Jupiter remains back in Aquarius again from late July through late December of this year will be the last time Jupiter is in Aquarius this cycle, meaning that by December its work there will be finished as will the particular theme or activity it represented for you. In general, Jupiter's return to Aquarius isn't the most heartening news, for it is leaving its domicile of Pisces where it is most happy and effective and instead is having to return to a sign that it isn't fully comfortable in, and worse, a sign that Saturn not only rules but presently continues to transit. We will see this individually and collectively as the overall optimism levels drop somewhat in the coming months. However, the good news is that at the end of the year when Jupiter returns to Pisces, there will again be a significant shift in the energy much towards the positive as we have seen over the past one or two months, and we will all benefit from it. There is much more I could say about this, but we will save it for when these events are closer and it becomes more relevant. One thing we do need to discuss now, however, is the fact that Mars opposes Jupiter only one day after its return to Aquarius. Almost immediately following this, Mars also changes signs by entering Virgo a mere five hours later. These events are connected. They are a clear indicator of a very powerful shift in the energy around the end of July. Mars opposite Jupiter represents an event involving action, motivation, anger, or desire, as well as expansion of your worldview, growth, knowledge, or belief systems or someone or something challenges you in the area of your partner's money, business, or issues of life and death, and or your money, values, or resources, forcing you to make a decision that ends up affecting your home, family, or living situation, your friends or social group, how you spend time alone, illness, or your enemies, and or your communication, short distance travel, or what is familiar to you. Generally, a Mars-Jupiter opposition indicates that our actions are not in alignment with our beliefs, that we may feel motivated to act in a way that challenges our worldview or morals. 
It can also represent two people who are at odds, one of them playing the role of Mars and the other playing the role of Jupiter. In such a scenario, the former would likely be hot-headed, angry, and impulsive, while the latter would be philosophically driven and focused on the big picture. July is a dynamic month. Its energy is loud and powerful. It begins with harsh and challenging aspects with both Mars and Venus opposing Saturn, then calms down and becomes somewhat more serene and playful with the new moon in Cancer and the Venus-Mars conjunction. Our hopes for the future are stimulated in the mid-late part of the month with the Aquarius full moon, but as Jupiter retrogrades back into Aquarius on the 28th, we realize that there is more work to be done before we can move forward with the bounty and blessings of Jupiter in Pisces. Work hard, play hard, and be brave, for like the sign of Leo into which the sun ingresses every July, this July is especially loud and powerful. That concludes your July 2021 astrology forecast. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already for more content like this. Have a fun month of July, and thank you so much for watching.